Hey guys, so it's it's been a minute. I've, I've been gone, I've been busy moving up here to Nashville. I'm obviously in my new space, my brand new apartment, and an apartment tour video is coming. But I'm not finished decorating, I'm not finished getting furniture in here, and so for right now, it's just gonna be me talking about something. And so I actually have been planning on making a video about following your passions, following your dreams, and not getting held back or distracted. And that's not what this video is gonna be about because something else completely different happened and obviously spur of the moment, I decided to make this video instead. Basically, I was at an all-time low tonight. I've been kind of depressed since I got here and trying to force myself to be happy. I've been trying to force myself into a positive mindset, tell myself that everything's gonna work out, and, you know, keep looking forward because you keep positive attitude and believe good things will happen, then good things will happen. Lies. Shit happens. You can't control it and shit happens and you do hit lows and you fall from your highs and you think good things are happening and then karma slaps the ever living shit out of you to balance your ass out and that's how life works it is not it's not always good it's not always bad and it's not always medium it is a constant fluctuating wavy little thing so what the fuck is this video going to be about if i'm just going to sit here and say life is just random and blah well while i was at my low for some reason i thought let me go back to the lowest point that i've ever been in my life and see what I had to say then. I want to see myself as the most broken and defeated person that I've ever been and see how, how did I come back from that? Because if I can come back from that, I can come back from this. It's not in me to give up. It's not in me to stop trying. It's not in me to be negative and just quit. You know, I forge forward. <laughs> I figure it out. So I went back to a video, two videos actually, that I made two years ago, one of which I was actually wearing this shirt. It fit a lot more loosely because we had actually just filmed Curtis, and so I was like 127 pounds. Um, I'm 150 right now. This is, I normally weigh 145, 150. I lost a lot of weight for Curtis. Um, I was skinny. But those videos were made after I was in a sexually abusive situation with my partner. Um, I let things get out of hand, and I made decisions that led up to me being in a horrible, horrible place in my life. I'd say go back and watch the videos if you wanna know what I'm talking about, but those videos actually don't exist anymore. I took them down off my page. The reason being that they have helped thousands of people. There have been thousands of comments on each of them talking about like, you know, like you're taking the words right out of my mouth. You're telling a story that I didn't know that I have to tell. I thought this was totally normal. A lot happened during that time. Um, and it was with the dude that proceeded to be psychologically abused and verbally abusive towards me after the fact. And so this was something that I dealt with from around, I think it happened in September, on forward, probably through December, I was dealing with this shit and therapy and counseling for many months after that. But all of that aside, the advice that I gave others or tried to give others in my despair, for lack of a better word, um, was that things are not always your fault, right? That you can make decisions, but your decision does not mean that it's entirely your fault. You are not entirely to blame. And so at the time I was like, I take credit for what I did, but I will not take, I will not take the blame entirely, right? Like he made decisions. He did things that led up to this being as bad as it was. I made a decision, but he also made decisions. So we were both to blame for the situation. What I didn't take into account for, because I was younger then, like it may only be two years, but that's two years of life experience. And it applies today because back then I felt broken. I was destroyed to a level that I had never been taken down to by another human being before and it hurt and it sucked. And I never want to see myself there again. And that's why I took the videos down is because it's helped people as it has. And that's great. And I am so glad that it has, but it's something that I want to move on from. I don't want to be seen in that light anymore. I don't want people to find my channel and look at me today as I was then because people do. And I'm not that broken kid anymore. I have learned a lot. I have grown a lot and I'm not broken anymore. Now I feel a lot more defeated by my own life decisions and my own self. <laughs> totally different. There are other factors though that play into decisions and how life plays out. And that is simply the universe and the will of whatever deity that you may believe in, whether it be karma or God, life doesn't make sense. So we as people tend to look for something to blame for something to happen or give credit to something or someone for something happening, good or bad. We wanna say that this happened because of this and we made this decision or we put in this amount of work or we dedicated this amount of time or we said yes to this, we said no to that. This happened because of this. Science. Well, fuck that. Truly, let me tell you and give you an example that will put this into perspective. So say you want to light a match and so you're gonna light a match in the middle of the woods and you're gonna light a campfire 
for all of your friends so you can cook s'mores and sing songs and tell scary stories and have a great time camping out underneath the stars, right? You're gonna light a single match, you're going to light the wood, and everything's gonna be beautiful and great. You've done this a million times before, why would it go wrong? Well, that's the beautiful and perfect way that it could work out. You could light that match, you could light that fire, and you could have s'mores and sing songs and everything would be great. Or, it could be the last match in the box. You could light it and a gust of wind could blow out your match. Everybody hates you because there's no campfire. You could light the match and light the outside of the wood and the fire starts, but the inside of the wood is still soaked and damp from when it rained two days ago. So then the fire goes out only a few minutes later after burning off the dried up bark on the outside. No fire. You could light the match, light the fire, everything be great in a strong gust of wind, blow those flames into the brush and onto the trees and you have now started a forest fire that is destroying everything, including your campsite and your friends. Worst possible scenario, of course. You made the simple decision of lighting a match. You did not make the decision to make the wind blow. You did not make the decision for it to rain two days ago. You didn't make the decision for everything to catch on fire. For it, there to have been a drought, so everything was super dry. So many factors play into every single decision that we make that we cannot take full credit for everything that happens. I'm not saying don't take blame and don't take credit and things just are bizarre and there is no rhyme or reason for anything. But you also have to remember that life happens for a reason. There is good and there is bad and we are somewhere in between, right? Nothing is ever perfect, but nothing is ever completely destroyed. We're, we're, we're always fluxing between the two and that's just how life is. So going back to the advice that I gave two years ago, I gave it to everybody else then and I gave it to myself now. What I said at the end of the second video that stuck with me the most out of everything that happened in both of them, I think it was about 20, 25 minutes worth of content between the two videos, was you're not alone, it's not your fault, don't blame yourself, you're loved. And that can go so far in so many directions. You are where you are in life because of decisions that you've made, but you're not alone. You didn't make those decisions alone. Everything that's happened, good or bad, is not entirely your fault. And there are forces completely outside of your control that are going to continue to affect your life. And you can't dwell on that. You can simply keep moving forward. Just to reiterate, I am not saying don't take credit for good things and that there is never anyone or anything to blame for bad things, but to always take into account that there is going to be variables in life that you don't account for. There's always going to be random acts of nature, a deity, whatever you want to call it. I had a flat tire, my Wi-Fi didn't work. I had a relationship blow up in my phone and then a boy that was super into me and gave me his phone number then ghosted me. Literally, things happen and there is no explanation. Sometimes you wish you got one and sometimes you don't. All of that, all of this to say that Two years ago, I was in the worst place that I've ever been in my entire life. And for some reason, you know, I felt that I was at an equitable level today. And looking back, I realized like I'm nowhere near as bad off as I was then. But I did work through it for months. It has taken me years to get over some of the trauma that that single situation put me through. I'm still working on it, honestly. I'm still not the same person. It changed me. And for that, I'm grateful. I am grateful that I went through such a bad thing so early in life because it taught me a lot about myself and it gave me great advice. It reminded me that blaming yourself gets you nowhere. That blaming others will get you nowhere. That focusing purely on who's responsible for what is never going to solve how or why something happened the way that it did. And the only way to get better is to focus on getting better. The only way to reach a victory is to strive for victory, not dwelling on your own defeat. And the only way to put broken pieces back together is with time, patience, and a whole lot of glue. I hope somehow, some way you have taken something away from this video because Lord knows if I did or if I didn't. That's about it for this video. I am gonna be saying a lot more very soon because I've realized over the last month how much I've missed this and how much I miss being as eloquent and as good of a speaker as I used to be. And I miss the advice that I used to give myself. And I want to get back to doing what I used to do best, which genuinely was just talking my ass off. So all that, stay smart, stay pretty. I will see you guys later.